welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph or Niramas and I'm here today with Draco. It's time for another deck review for Keyforge, but this time it is Worlds Collide, the new set that is going to be released in a couple of weeks here. So we already got some decks from Essence Spiel, really excited for that and I just want to get straight into it. But I should mention that we do have already one video, one live stream that we did at Essence Spiel where we already uh, checked out three decks. So if you haven't seen those, you can go check out that live stream uh, on the channel. And it's not the best quality because we were like in the hotel room and all that. But anyway, we did get to see some uh, new cards a lot. And this one has the new house, the Star Alliance. I'm happy for that. This is Garcia of Cherry Track. Okay, let's see if we can get in here. And I already have one deck from those earlier ones I mentioned that had the Star Alliance. I still haven't seen the uh, Saurians, the dinosaurs, so I'm hoping that deck over there might have it. <laughs> I really hope so because I want those dinos. Here, wait. Oh, Creed of Nurture. So we start off with Untamed. And this card here has, let's see, this is something new, of course. So it says, um, it's an artifact that has the uh, power Omni. Power, that's something new. Uh, Omni, sacrifice a creed of nurture. If you do, reveal a creature from your hand and choose a creature in play. For the remainder of the turn, the chosen creature gains the text book of the revealed creature. Ooh. So you can sacrifice this Omni style, reveal a creature from your hand from another house, basically, and then you choose a creature in play, and that one gets the same text box, so it can get like a reap effect or fight effect or whatever. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> I like that. Flexia, an old classic one for power. Play again to Amber if you control more creatures than your opponent. That's a good one. Unnatural selection. Uh, free Amber. Play, choose three friendly creatures and three enemy creatures and destroy each other creatures. This is a new one. Nice sort of, no, destroying controlled. Tantalin from Age of Ascension, nine power. He only deals two damage when fighting and when he after he fights, he, you discard a random card from your opponent's archives. He's pretty good. I think it's a way to, you know, get rid of a card from an archive. It's not often you can do that. And we have Song of the Wild. Play. For the remainder of the turn, each friendly creature gains, reap, gain, and amber. So you turn all your creatures into dew fairies, basically. So, of course, you want to do this on, you know, you're going to have a bunch of attained creatures out there in order for, to make this really good. But, yeah, cool. Rusknor from Age of Ascension. Four power five. Destroy an artifact. If that artifact had an amber bonus, you gain that much amber. He's pretty good in some cases. Getting rid of an artifact is always good, but he's not a, I'm not a big fan of this one. Two of those as well. Then Regrowth is a great card from the first set. Free Amber and play. Return a creature from your discard pile to your hand. Do like that a lot. Mustic Murmuk. This is new. Four power. Each player's keys cost plus one. Play. Deal four damage to a creature. So each player's keys cost plus one. That's interesting. It is like, it's, it's good and bad, sort of. Now the new one, imprinted Murmuk. Three power elusive and your keys cost minus one. Oh, so if you have both of these out, that means that your opponent's keys cost plus one and not yours. But this is really cool. Lowering your key cost like that. And we do have a bunch of creatures here now, which is great. So now the one, deep wood druid, three power deploy. So you can go anywhere in the battle line and play reap, fully heal a neighboring creature. So it's a healer, that's good. And another one, Bramble Lynx. Beast, three power, skirmish. If you have used a creature to reap this turn, Bramble Lynx enters play ready. Wow, that's good. So we can just have any of the other ones out. We reap, and then we, he comes in ready. He has skirmish, he can hit someone. Nice. Uh, okay, so uh, let, let's talk a little bit. I'm going to start doing this like this because it, it's fun. Let's talk a little bit about each house. So, untamed, four... Five, six, seven, eight creatures. That's a lot. So eight creatures in Untamed. And, um, you know, nice effects as well, I think. Really good against artifacts here with these two. Tantalin can mess up the archive. Flaxia gets you Amber if you have more creatures than your opponent, which you have a good shot of having since you have so many creatures in here, right? You can dump a bunch of them and then Flaxia at the end. Regrowth is great for getting something back, like Flexia. You can get Flexia back and just play it right away. And let's see, do we have any good play? This is a play effect, heal a neighboring creature. This is play deal four to a creature. That's a good having those play effects. 
uh, for the regrowth. And then also Song of the Wild is great for the play. Each of friendly creature gets reap gain one. So you want to have a bunch of these, <laughs> so many creatures. This is looking actually kind of good. I do like it. Yeah, and this is cool as well. You can get some, you know, effect sort of out of house. So let's see what effects we can find in the other houses that we could apply to, to a untamed creature. So, Star Alliance time. <laughs> this is so much fun. Three power, Psychonic Officer Lang. After an enemy creature reaps, archive the top card of your deck. Wow. Wow. So like, uh, this is ongoing. So if, you're, if your enemy reaps like four times in, you know, in a turn, you archive four cards, the top card of your deck. You really set up some big archiving. Then we have Transporter Platform. It's an artifact. Free Amber. It's a location. Action. Return a friendly creature and each upgrade attached to it to your hand. Oh, because they have a lot of, uh, from what I've seen so far, Star Alliance has a lot of upgrades. And with this one, you can get them back to your hand and apply them to someone else, basically. That's awesome. Quintrino Flux. Play. Choose a friendly creature and an enemy creature. Destroy the chosen creatures and each creature with the same power as either of the chosen creatures. This is like a... Yeah, it's really like you can... If you can set this up good, you can really sort of get rid of, you know, board wipe style your opponent's creatures and save yours at the same time. Especially if you can ward... I played the game earlier to, tonight with another one of the, my decks, one that I opened uh, last week in the live stream there. And I played against Martin this evening and I used this together with the medic that could ward someone so that way we could protect it. It's really interesting. Navigator Ali, 3 power, play fight reap. Look at the top 3 cards of your deck and put them back in any order. Ooh, that's a new effect. Didn't exist in, in Keyforge before now. And that's really cool. I like that. Can sort of set something up here. And you can do it multiple times because it's play fight reap, right? Four power information officer gray. Play fight reap. They have a lot of play fight reap effects. I like it. You may reveal a non star alliance card from your hand if you do archive it. Oh, so then you can like reveal one of these, archive it, and have it set up for next turn when you want to do a strong untamed turn, right? Sap, free amber, action, play, deal one damage to a creature for each house represented among creatures in play. This could be a maximum of six, then sort of, could be more in some cases if you have those, you know, upgrades that turn it into any house and all that. Yeah, interesting. Psy Officer Queen Can, two power, elusive, after a player chooses an active house, which matches no cards in play, steal one. Oh, so this is a... Passive effect going on there. That's cool. So if you have this guy out and your opponent doesn't want to choose the house that there's no card drop in play right now because then you will start stealing off, you know, on, on the, your opponent's turn. I like that as well. You can steal on your opponent's turn. And this is also interesting because this guy has, let's see if you can see it here, he has three uh, trades. Three trades. So alien, proximate and scientists. So whatever that card is called, I can't recall it right now. That sort of deals two damage for each trait and you get an amber. That's good against this guy. Light of the Archons, an upgrade, free amber. This creature gains plus one power and plus one armor for each upgrade attached to it. So this can get, make a uh, creature really big. You know, you can really build someone up if they have a bunch of upgrades. And then we have First Officer Frain. He has four power, play, fight, reap. A friendly creature captures one amber. That's a good one. A friendly creature, so it doesn't have to be him. Well, that's interesting. This is cool. The Explore Rover. Three power robot, skirmish. And Explore Rover may be placed as an upgrade instead of a creature. With the text, this creature gains skirmish. So you can give someone skirmish using this. And of course, having a bunch of upgrades on someone is good with this one. Because that will get them plus one armor, plus one power. So, yeah, nice combos here. Or you can have this as a standalone guy as well. Then we have Arms Master Molina for power. I haven't seen this one before, I think. Hazardous 3, and each of its neighbors gains Hazardous 3. So this is a way to protect your creatures. Nice. Two of those. And that was it for uh, Star Alliance. So, what is it? Well, this is an upgrade or a creature. So not that, you know, not that many upgrades, which is kind of... Ah, you want to have more of those when you have that Light of the or Orcons, right? So basically, you know, it's only two because the Aerobo could be one. So again, wow, eight creatures again, really creature heavy deck. We're already up to 16 and we've only gone through two houses. 
That is interesting. So let's head into logos. New cards in logos, always exciting with uh, academy training. If you control the creature, oh, it's an upgrade. If you control, oh, okay, so we can put an upgrade, of course, from logos on here, and that would trigger as well for the pluses. If you control this a creature, it belongs to house logos instead of its original house. Oh, so you can turn someone into logos. That's cool. Uh, this creature gains a reap, draw a card. Wow. So you can just, you know, some of these 16 creatures here in the two other houses could become logos <laughs> and get a reap effect. Nice. Then we have Seismo Entangler. It's an old one, all sort of. Uh, choose a house during your opponent's next turn. Creatures of the chosen house cannot be used to reap. That's pretty good. Your Gogol is nice. Two power elusive. When you play him, you put a card from your hand face down under him. So. You could put something that is not from Logos. And then when he's destroyed, if it's your turn, play the card. Or if otherwise, if it's, you know, if, if he's destroyed on your opponent's turn, then you archive the card. So, so it's good either way, right? But really good if you can play it. So you can have something in here. Not sure what you could be playing. Here's a new one. Group, group think tank. Four power, three armor. Ooh, armor in Logos. That's not something we used to. Action, deal four damage to each creature that shares a house with at least one of its neighbors. Oh, wow. The placement on the battle line now is so important. They, they started doing that in Age of Ascension with the whole flanks and deploy and everything. But now they're really taking it to another level. It's so important where they are in the battle line. So, yeah, really cool stuff. Uh, this, could be, this could be huge if you can time it. Dr. Mill, two power scientists. Play for each creature your opponent controls in excess of you. Not counting Dr. Millie archive a card. Wow, so here's a bunch of archiving possible. Uh, I mean, say that your board was wiped and you play him. So you, or like the opponent has some creatures outright. Wow, this could be a lot. And you don't even count him. So <laughs> that could be a lot of archiving. And Titan, Guardian, five power, one armor. Armor again. Taunt, a taunt guy, a big taunt guy in Logos. That's, that's cool. When he's destroyed, if Titan Guardian is not on a flank, draw two cards. So, oh, again, interesting with the placement in the battle line, and you can get to draw cards when he's destroyed. Torium Plasmate, one free amber. Play, move an enemy creature anywhere in its controller's battle line. Deal two damage to that creature for each of its neighbors that shares a house with it. Once again, <laughs> this whole thing, so you can move it anywhere in the battle line, and then you deal two damage to the creature for each of its neighbors that shares a house with it. So if your opponent has a bunch of creatures of the same house, you can mess it up here. It's really cool stuff. And I love this new card, Tau Tau Vapors. Play, draw two cards, archive a card. So you both get to draw two cards and then you get to archive. It's so good. Information exchange, play, this is tricky. Play, steal an amber. If your opponent stole an amber from you on their previous turn, steal two amber instead. So you gotta remember basically um, if that happened, yeah. Then hologramophone, free amber, artifact, action, ward a creature. This is good. Warding means that they get protected for one attack so they don't die. Could be really good. Or like one destroy effect. Really nice. And finally, oh, sort of finally, hapsis, five power. After an enemy creature is destroyed, fighting hapsis, ward hapsis, and draw a card. So he can just, you know, keep going. You know, first time he kills someone and he survives, he gets the ward. You get to draw a card, then you fight with him again, then he has the ward, so he doesn't die. He doesn't take any damage, but then you get to draw a card and you get a new ward. Really cool. <laughs> and finally, uh, from Age of Ascension, free amber, cutthroat, research, play, steal two amber if your opponent has eight amber or more. Really hard card to actually pull off and get some effect out of, but if you can, it's cool, and you do get that amber at least. So in Logos then, we had, what is it? Three, four, five, five creatures. Okay, so in total, this is a 21 creature deck, really creature heavy, but seems that that's the way to go now with uh, what's called I, a lot of creatures. And some nice effects. This Dr. Mealy is really cool for archiving. Yeah, Joe Gogol is fun. I like this one, being able to just keep warding their creatures, stealing, drawing cards, archiving. Moving, you know, direct damage, basically stopping them from reaping a little bit. And this one can turn one of these creatures in here into logos. <laughs> and you kind of want to do that with someone that is also getting the, uh, the up, this upgrade light of the Archons. So it will become beefier. 
And you can even put the explorer over on it as well. So you, what creature, I mean, you could have something. I mean, like, this isn't bad. Have this guy really beefed up and in logos. And then play fight reap, a friendly creature captures one. You can just, you know, that's a amber control. Wow. There's many cool effects here. I mean, this is good as well. Reveal a non-store alliance card from your hand if you do archive it. So uh, let's look at the top three cards of your deck, put them back in any order. There's so many good effects here. And this, after an enemy creature reaps, archive the top card of your deck. I mean, you can put this one out there, beef it up to five or six in strength, and then some armor to that. And just have it as a passive effect. As soon as your opponent reaps, you get to archive the top card of your deck. You can build up some really strong turns where you have like a lot of cards in your hand together with the archiving in logos. I do like that. And this is fun as well, getting the text from another card onto one of your uh, untamed cards out there, one of your untamed creatures. And there's a lot of stuff you can do there as well. I mean, crap, capturing, why not? Uh, stopping a key. Or, or um, hmm, yeah, wow. Was there any cool effects in logos? Like ongoing. Uh, this isn't bad. Deal four damage to each creature that shares a house with at least one of its neighbors. You could set that up. <laughs> there's so there's so much cool combos in here that I just can't wait to just you know dive into and actually start figuring out. Uh, but I think it's gonna take a little bit of playing before I actually you know see them all uh, clearly. Because, yeah, there's so much going on here. And I am going to take a look at the Amber Pips as well. The Free Amber, as I call it. Because I think those are really getting lowered in uh, World's Collide from what I've seen. That's some Amber right there. And, of course, this is Amber in some ways as well. But just looking at these, like, straight-up Amber. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we have Fluxia. It's kind of low on like easy to get amber, I think. But there's other ways you can do it, of course. You can reap and so on. And yeah, I mean, you can capture. Wow, and here you can steal. After a player chooses an active house which matches no cards in play, you steal an amber. This can actually st sort of steer you towards fighting, just killing something. If they have like just one creature of this or whatever, one card of this out. Well, you, you want to kill that So and when you have this guy out. Because if they choose this, you will steal an Amber. So, yeah, really cool stuff. I'm not really in the in the situation now to really rate it in any way. Because, you know, I have to play World's Collide a little bit before that and so on. And I usually don't give any score. But I'm really excited for this. Really want to play it. So, thank you so much for watching this deck review. For um, one of my first decks of World's Collide. And it will be released here in a few, you know, like two weeks or whatever. So I hope you can get hold of one as well, or more than one, I guess. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning. And, you know, by the way, like the video if you liked it. Press the like button down there and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Have a good evening or morning. Take care. Bye-bye. Be like Draco. Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas.